Okay, in this next part of the video, I've just taken the glass that I'm going to use. In fact, this is not the glass that I originally intended to use. You can see here I've got the box kind of propped up on the table at a 45 degree angle just so I can get that top surface flat. And I originally had a piece of eighth inch normal glass and and uh, my first attempt at putting on the glass was, was pretty horrific. So I had to pull that off and uh, get everything kind of cleaned up again. I wasn't able to get the glass clean enough. And I've got this uh, quarter inch tempered glass already that was made for a solar panel. So I'm thinking that because of the size of this cooker, this is going to be better anyway. But it's tempered and you can't cut tempered glass. So I just had to go with the size that it is. So I've just kind of propped this up for now. Um, earlier, I and we stained it and we sealed everything, including the bottom. And what I've just done now is I've put a bead of silicone all around this. As you can kind of see the, the bead is kind of there flattened. And what I'm doing now is I'm just going to let this set up and not touch it for probably several hours. And just kind of let it sit here. And the glass does hang over a little bit, so I'm not going to claim any, uh, you know, any beauty awards from this oven. But uh, I'm thinking with that quarter inch tempered glass that's made for a solar panel. And I'm really hoping that it's going to produce some pretty good temperatures for us. All right. So we uh, the next video will hopefully be uh, us cooking something in it and seeing the temperature come up properly. All right. Thanks and bye for now.